How do I make softer DTF transfers? I get this question and I see it on the DTF forums all the time. Much of the time, suggestions and what people are chasing has a minimal effect on the actual softness. That's led me to this idea. The hierarchy of softness. Basically, what parts of the creation of DTF transfers affects the softness the most, or the least? Today I'm going to cover the second biggest player in the hierarchy of softness, and that's the white underbase. Specifically, the amount of white underbase used. I'll show you how to test and choose the right settings for your desired look and feel. First, you'll need some graphics to test with. I created this leopard graphic with different numbers on them so I know how much underbase I've used. You can create your own or download these for free from DTFSuperstore.com. I'm going to be using Digital Factory 11 to do this, but you can do this in any RIP software that allows you to change the white underbase amount. If you use a RIP where you need to create the white underbase as a spot color, it's a bit more complicated and I'll have to cover that in a different video. I'm going to load all 10 graphics into Digital Factory with my selected print mode. You will need to do this test with each resolution or pass mode setting you use, as a higher resolution will lay down more ink. Then select each image individually and change the white underbase amount to the number of that graphic. If you have two numbers in your white settings, one will be for the white under the colors and the other one will be just white when it's just printing white. Go ahead and make them the same. Once they've all been adjusted, print, powder, cure, and press them on a shirt. Now when I'm setting up print modes, I'm looking for the Goldilocks number. Not too much, not too little, just right. Let's play a little game together. Which one would you choose? Obviously on video, it's not super easy to tell, but I will tell you that the 10% is not enough. The 100% is way more than you need. Plus, some of those holes, see that percent sign on the 100? Some of those holes are getting filled in with that ink because there was just so much on there. So what you wanna do is you wanna basically go like, 100 looks great, 90 looks great, 80 looks great, 70 also looking pretty good, 60 doesn't look too shabby, 50 looks good. 40, I can tell a little bit of dimming in person. It's hard to tell on camera. So I could actually probably set my white underbase on this one. Obviously not a 10, that's not enough. But to get full vibrancy of colors, I'm probably gonna set my general underbase to 50 with my highlight white being probably 60. The number I choose for our print modes in-house is to assure that you have enough white to protect the colors on a black shirt, which is the only color I wear. <laughs> However, a very popular trend right now is a slightly faded or vintage look, which means you could go lower on your white underbase, making it softer, saving you some ink costs, and fading the color slightly. Once you know what that number is, change the name of the print mode and save those new underbase settings. Now just repeat the same test for other colors you use regularly as a lighter color shirt like this blue won't need as much white underbase. But be careful not to go too low as you'll run the risk of not having good stretch and durability. I wouldn't go below 20%, but every printer is a little different. So I'd encourage you to wash these shirts as a test and see how the different percentages hold up. I know this video will help you create better, softer DTF transfers. Stay tuned for more videos on this hierarchy of softness by subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you soon.